We're now joined by American slope style skier Joss Christensen. Good morning, Joss. You hear me? I can hear you now, man. Welcome. Thanks What's for being up? here in the morning, man. How's your Olympic experience been so far? Um, it's been pretty awesome. Uh, been skiing a bunch. Haven't really ventured too far from the athlete village yet, but staying here the whole time, so I got time for that. That's pretty awesome. Have you watched any events? Yes, I uh, actually watched the women's ski slope style event this morning, which is pretty awesome. I got a bunch of friends who were competing there, and it was cool to see the U.S. take silver. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, oh, tell, yeah. Me about your, tell me about your event, though. How are you preparing for it? Um, I'm just hanging out, watching old videos. We, uh, our coaches have been filming our practices every day, so we're kind of going over that. And, uh, yeah, just trying to stay calm. We've had a lot of practice. We still have one more practice day before we compete. So. And you're not worried about, the, to... you're not worried about yeah. the course at all? Some people are complaining about the course. How are you feeling? Um, so the course is pretty big, and uh, it's been pretty icy because it's been pretty cold here. And yesterday it finally got a little warm. It actually seemed like it's getting a little too warm. But uh, I prefer the slush over the ice. So I think it'll be good. I think, I think it'll be a good contest, though. Absolutely. Now, one of the groups that got you to the point that you're at now uh, one is the U.S. Ski and Snowboard Association. They really uh, did a lot. How did they help you exactly? Um, I mean, they've just helped us figure out what we need to be doing to get here, keep us uh, keep our heads on straight, keep us healthy, keep us strong, and, yeah, just help us train and get to the full potential that we can get. Absolutely. And, and they've done a lot for younger skiers. Yeah, they have a lot of developmental programs, bringing up the young kids who look like they have a lot of talent and uh, help put them in the right path to get where we're at today. Absolutely. Now, the most pressing question of the day, obviously, we haven't gotten to yet. I'm going to ask you now. But how is the sex out there? Um, well, I haven't seen too much around uh, the USA building. Um, <laughs> there are definitely some honeys out there. Hey, the uh, the cow. <laughs> The cafeteria is, is definitely where you're going to be spitting some game. But. The word, spitting game is good, man, but you gotta, you got you to seal the deal, man. you got to get the gold medal. Everybody out there is telling me that the Olympics is nothing but nonstop sex all the time. Is that true? I mean, I've been a little disappointed so far. I haven't really heard of anyone getting down or sealing the deal yet, but it's oh. just started. So we have a few more weeks. We'll see what happens. Well, I mean, we'll I think see. maybe the uh, – yeah? No, no, I was going to say, I mean, they got these Olympic condoms, though. Have you seen these? No, we've we've heard that they have about three thousand up here in the village. And, How about a uh, hundred thousand out there, my man? Hundred thousand? Wow! Yes. I mean, I haven't seen one of those yet. You could repopulate <laughs> Russia. Just oh, yeah. I guess if you use them, you won't repopulate Russia. But there are condoms out there, so you can be safe and live out your Olympic dream. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Whatever it takes to have fun and be relaxed, right? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> I'm with you, man.